सो लेट सी दिस गेट टू थाउजेंड क्वेश्चन टू थाउजेंड फोर क्वेश्चन इट्स रिगार्डिंग ओवरफ्लो इन टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट एडिशन फर्स्ट थिंग वेन यू एड अ पॉजिटिव एंड अ नेगेटिव नंबर देर इज नो चांस ऑफ ओवरफ्लो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर यू कैन नॉट हैव अ ओवरफ्लो इन दिस ऑप्शन एवर वाई से दिस इज अ फोर बिट टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट एडिशन एंड numbers that could be represented in four bits are from minus 8 to plus 7 how because the formula is negative 2 power n minus 1 n here is 4 that means 3 n minus 1 comes out to be 3 up to positive 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 this is minus 8 up to plus 7 so this is the range you pick any number any negative number from this range and add it with any positive number here you cannot get overflow ever let's see this is plus 7 if we take minus 8 and add any positive number say 1 the answer is minus 7 which is in this range if we add 7 to it if here i add 7 still the answer is going to be in the range okay similarly if we take any positive number and add any negative number to that to it still we are going to remain in this range only that means this cannot cause a overflow now let's see a part our first option we have 1100 plus 1100 this is negative 4 and this one is also negative 4 you add them to get negative 8 negative 8 still remains in the range so there is no overflow in a part also how is this negative 4 let's see that this number begins with 1 that means it's a negative number second thing we are using two's complement number system so take two's complement of this number that is 0 0 so this is minus 4 okay let's see this option this is 3 and this is 7 3 plus 7 is 10 that means we are going out of the range so this option will cause a overflow you cannot save its answer which is 10 in 4 bits you need 5 bits to save this answer let's see one more method to solve such questions say a part is 1100 Plus one one zero zero. Now, when you add them, just take x or of carry in and carry out to the last bit. You x or these two values. If x or comes out to be one, there is overflow. If if x or comes out to be zero, there is no overflow. Let's see here. One plus one is zero, and one carry. So carry in to the to this bit is one, and when you add these three, three of these, you get one one. Carry out is one. Carry in and carry out are both one one. One XOR one is zero. Zero means no overflow. Now, if you cannot understand why are we taking XOR and why only these two. numbers that are carry in and carry out of the uh, leftmost bit why are we doing so you can see my theory lectures to understand it completely okay so here the answer is this one i'll see you in the next video